Unleash the swarm. Warfare 2 added a custom turret controller to the game and it is by far the best feature Space Engineers has received for a while. But not for the reasons you might think. You see, making turrets is cool and all, but making missiles is much, much cooler. Here we have a basic turret. It's using two rotors, one for azimuth, one for elevation. And we've got custom turret controller. If I go into the custom turret controller and scroll down, and I've got a list of all the things you can target, such as missiles, small ships, large ships, and I'm gonna put characters on and you'll see that this thing now follows me around. If I were to toggle off characters and turn on small ships, you'll see my turret is now looking at my little ship over here. So I'll fly around. You see the turret is following me wherever I go. So the custom turret controller can be used to automatically aim at things. So all we need to do is find a way to put that on a missile. So credit to my buddy Striker who showed me how to do this. But here I have a fully functional turret. It's not supported by anything and it just points at me whilst being in the air. The way this is achieved, if I turn the custom turret controller off, so the two gyroscopes here have their override controls on, and this tries to keep them roughly where they are at all times. If I turn the controller back on, you'll see that the gyroscopes are roughly trying to stay where they are at all times. And it's actually the rotors that are rotating to move the ship. You also notice that these rotors are on backwards, which isn't as easy to place as normal. So I'll quickly go over how to place them on the ship. So here I've got the basis of this. I've got just two batteries, a turret controller, a camera and something to interact with because when it's facing at me, I can't turn off the turret controller. So what you want to do is you want to place two rotor heads on your grid and then you want to place a regular rotor, remove the head and then place a gyro on the bottom. Now, if you're in survival, you need to be a second one, but as I've been creative, I'm just going to place a second one in. You need to grab a ship to get them in line. And then you need to fly over to where your other rotor is and then get them in line with your rotor. And then using build vision, I can just go in and attach the rotors together. If you're not using build vision like I am, you'll need to have a temporary terminal on this unpowered part of the grid to attach the rotor. But as I'm using build vision, it's just easier for me to hop into the menu and press attach. And there you go. I've got my two rotors connected. Go to your terminal, go to your gyros and turn on override controls. Go to your custom turret controller. Make sure you set both rotors as these separate rotation axes. Add your camera, add the velocity to max, and then turn off all your targeting just to begin with. Enable AI, which will allow the AI to control the turret. And now if I set it to point at small ships, you'll see it's slowly going to turn around. Look at my little ship. So now if I move this around, it's going to follow me around. And then my original rotor, when it wakes up, it's going to look at me. You see that little red square there? That's what this quote-unquote turret is targeting on the small ship. Oh, but obviously it can't hit it because it doesn't have any form of movement at the moment. I'm going to place a thruster on the end of my grid and I'm going to toggle it off then set the override to max. And then what you can do, if you go to the terminal on your turret controller, scroll down to set up actions, find your thruster in the list and set to toggle on in the first box and to toggle off in the second box. And what this will now do, if I turn the controller back on, you'll see that whilst it's looking at me, it's now going to thrust towards me. Now, of course, this is just the basics of the design. We can go much, much further with this. This is what I'm referring to as my Mark 1 missile. It has a drill on the end because in one of my previous videos, we figured out that drills don't take damage from impacts, meaning they, they're very good to place at the end of missiles. And if I strip off the side here, it's got a uh, spicy surprise, shall we say, on impact. It's also got some thrusters on it so it can more easily move around. It's got a large thruster on the back to give it that extra oomph for traveling. So let's test out how good this thing actually is. So here we have the MC-80 we've used in previous videos to test out our weapons. So I'm going to spawn in a missile and place it upwards just to show you it turn. There you go, look. So it's just acquiring a target. And off it goes. Not a lot of damage, but for our first test, it did quite well. How about we paste in a few more, eh? So overall a good display, but I think we can do bigger and better. I should mention that these don't necessarily have to be missiles because they're effectively flying turrets. If you remove whatever you've got at the end and place some weapons down and then add those weapons to the available weapons for the turret controller. If I turn the turret controller on now, you've now created a really simple drone to use. 
So you can build a little drone that flies around and shoots at enemy targets or enemy ships or whatever. So I built variants of these drones with each of the different types of weapons in the game. And just over there I've got an enemy ship, it's smaller than normal ships and the missiles are less likely to hit it, but perhaps these drones have a better chance. I think some tweaking on the settings of these drones might be in order, because that drone just flew straight into the ship. <laughs> Definitely some tweaks needed. <laughs> they actually seem to work better as kind of sentry guns. So they just float up in space and they have enough thrust to stop themselves going in different directions and they slowly just shoot the enemy. I mean, I don't think he's hit a single shot yet, but it's the port that counts. <laughs> so you can have a couple of these dotted around your base. You wouldn't have to worry about the enemy shooting your base because they'd be too busy shooting these turrets and these turrets are completely separate from your base. Are you enjoying the video so far? Don't forget to like and subscribe and join my Discord server if you'd like to join my Space Engineers multiplayer server over the summer. Anyway, enough time has been spent getting distracted by turrets, it's time to get back to building missiles. Here we have what I'm referring to as the Mark II. Drillers are tip again, no warheads because I think they were detrimental to us last time. Got the turret controller here, reactor, gyros and this time I'm using gravity drive as a thruster. But this will accelerate much, much faster than a previous missile. So, let's give it a test. Here we go. <laughs> now that's more like it. So, let's try out a few more. Off to a good start. Obviously, with enough time and lots and lots of tweaks, you could use the turret controller to build some really killer missiles and drones. Do you guys have any suggestions how to make them better? Let me know. Regardless, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more explosive content.